Hello there, uh, Hudson High School Science Scholars. This is Mr. Comer here, and I'm making this video to show you the laboratory procedure for our investigation of latent fingerprints using the black powder method. Now, this is a method that we've seen on TV uh, probably a hundred times, um, but I just want to kind of explain to you how we're going to be doing it um, in, in our lab. Um, so we're going to be developing our latent fingerprints using black powder, just like you see on TV. And um, the theory behind it is pretty simple. When the black powder is um, applied to a surface that contains a fingerprint, it adheres to the oils and residues that are left behind um, when uh, your finger comes in contact with a, a hard surface, and it makes the ridges of the fingerprint visible. Um, these, this powder can then be lifted from the surface using an adhesive tape and transferred to a card for you know, photography or additional analysis. So what are you gonna need in order to do this? Well, you're gonna need some sort of object of investigation, um, something with a fingerprint on it. So um, you're gonna go ahead and um, use a microscope slide in this case. Um, you need some black fingerprint powder, um, an applicator brush with soft bristles. In this case, we're gonna be using a makeup brush. Some lifting tape, um, they have special tapes, but you can use really any transparent tape. Um, scissors to cut the tape, gloves because this uh, black powder does get quite messy and if you have an apron or a lab coat, I suggest you wear it and try to be as neat as possible. How are we going to do it? Well, um, you're going to go ahead and grab your microscope slide and roll an imprint of your right thumb um, onto it. Uh, for best results, you can kind of use the uh, oils from your nose or from your hairline and roll it and you'll actually be able to see it pretty well. And then you're going to want to put on your gloves. A lot of students put their gloves on first and go, oh, man, I uh, have to make a fingerprint. So put your gloves on second and then um, carefully dip the applicator brush into the powder and just get a little bit at the tip of the applicator brush. Keeping the object over the container of black powder, all right, um, apply the powder to the surface with a light twirling motion over the area to be processed. So just kind of keep it over, and then you could gently brush off or tap off any of the excess powder, okay? Um, none of this should really be getting all over the lab table. It just becomes, becomes a big mess, and if it does, please clean it up quickly, right? Um, and then you just take a little piece of lifting tape and apply it to the object, pressing evenly across the surface under investigation. and slowly remove the lifting tape from the surface and place it on the backing card that is of a contrasting color. So in this case, we're using black powder. We're gonna put it on a white index card. Um, fill out the backing card with the proper information. In this case, I'd like you to put your name, your class, your section, um, the type of fingerprint that you're using. And if uh, you get a good sample, please try to do uh, three to five examples of fingerprint minutia, such as bifurcation, deltas, cores, um, ridges, islands, so on and so forth. Okay. So um, that's everything. You can kind of follow the video down to uh, the right. And, um, and good luck uh, doing your laptop procedure and your report. Thank you.